It depends on a few factors. This is only relevant if you were divorced or separated after receiving your green card, if your green card is based on a petition filed by your spouse. If it was based on employment or based on asylum, then you don't have to worry. It will not affect your immigration status. You no longer have to watch the video. However, if it is based on your spouse, the next factor we look at is did you receive a two-year green card or a 10-year green card? You'll receive a two-year or conditional green card if you were married for less than two years at the time of your visa interview or adjustment of status. If you're married for two years or more at the time of your visa interview or adjustment of status, then you will receive a 10-year green card. Why does this matter? If you receive a two-year green card, then within the three months before the two-year anniversary of receiving your green card, or within the three months before your two-year green card expires, you and your spouse need to file a joint petition to remove conditions on your residency. So what happens if you are now divorced or separated? Well, fortunately, there are a few waivers of the joint filing requirement. Keep in mind that all of these waivers, except for the last one that we'll get to shortly, does require a showing that you entered into your marriage in good faith, just as you would need to show if you filed a joint petition. So the first waiver is a divorce waiver. In order to be eligible for this, you will need to show that you entered into the marriage in good faith and that it was ended due to divorce. It requires you to have a final judgment of divorce, not a started divorce, not a divorce waiting to be signed by a judge. If you do not have a final judgment of divorce and your two years is approaching rapidly, you're still re required to file the I-751 with a divorce waiver and USCIS will send the request for evidence later on asking for the final divorce, or once you get the final divorce, you'll send it in. The second type of waiver is an extreme cruelty or battery waiver, or in other words, an abuse waiver. You again, you have to show that it was a real marriage, plus you're gonna have to show evidence that your spouse abused you. The third type of waiver is death of your spouse. If your spouse died after receiving your green card, you will again need to show evidence that you entered into the marriage in good faith and you'll have to submit the death certificate. The final waiver category is an extreme hardship waiver. The extreme hardship can be uh, based on the extreme hardship you will suffer and or another qualifying relative. Although the law does not specifically state you need to submit evidence of a good faith marriage, we always recommend that, we do, that you do so and we always do so for our clients. If you receive the 10-year green card, then you will not need to file the I-751 joint waiver. And if you separate or divorce after getting your green card, it will only possibly affect your status if you decide to apply for naturalization less than five years after receiving your green card. If you do that, you're filing it based on the three-year rule, which says that you received your green card based on marriage and that you're to a U.S. citizen and that you're still married and living with your U.S. citizen spouse. If you decide to file for naturalization after having your green card for five years, then your marriage will not be relevant to your status and it will not be probed in an immigration interview, although you will have to bring your judgment of divorce if you are divorced. And finally, if you are now a U.S. citizen, then you don't have to worry if you are divorced or separated you will not have to even provide proof to immigration of that fact. If you have any questions about uh, what to do after you've received your green card or even before, uh, if you're having marital problems, our contact information will be shortly on your screen. That is all for today. If you uh, liked what you saw, hit that share button, that save button, drop us a comment, let us know what you thought. And don't forget to like us and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you are watching. Thank you for watching and have a great day.